Uh, yeah, obviously happy with the win. Um, I thought we played pretty well and, and uh, were able to find a way. I mean, our D are scoring machines. And, uh, but they, I, I thought our forwards worked well in the corners and were able to open up our D and, and, uh, and give them opportunities to score. So it's nice to see that. Um, obviously, Barnsley's there was a nice goal, too, on the uh, nice find by Fredo. So um, overall, happy, you know, happy with the win. And, and now we got ourselves in a final after, uh, after the weekend. So um, we're, we're very excited. City, you put one behind the net. Would you see in that first shot that you took? And what's it feel like to score your first beam block goal? Uh, it was awesome. It was off a great forecheck from um, like Kelly Brown's line. And they really were working hard. And it was just a couple of rebounds. And I was like, it's going to come out. It's going to come out. So I was creeping in. And I saw it. And I was just praying it didn't get blocked. And it made its way through. Caught Kelly Brown for the celebration. <laughs> but it was awesome. Yeah. And Abby, another strong performance, back-to-back -back shutouts. You've talked about being mission-oriented this year. Is this a good phase one for your mission? Yeah, this is a good, good start. Um, I think our team played absolutely phenomenal today. It was so much fun to watch behind them all. And um, they really helped me a lot today. And I got to say, they got the shutout more than I did, probably. Yeah. Um, having lost to them in such a close title game a year ago, coming to this game, was there any sense that this was a revenge game? 100%. I, I, I didn't want them to beat us ever again after that game. So it was very much so revenge. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to beat them, especially after like such a hard-fought loss last year. So it was good revenge. Just what does it mean to be back in a final now and have the chance to go up against a, a Northeastern team that's red hot at the moment? Um, it's exciting. I think it's a good challenge for us, and we really want it this year. And, uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Um, Caleb Barnes striking first there, Abby. As a goalie, how, um, did it kind of make your life a little bit easier to get up that early? A hundred percent. I think any time we're scoring goals, it will feel a lot better behind me. Or, yeah, everyone in front of me plays a little bit better, too. So it was really good getting the first goal and having it come so early in the game. And that late goal, um, at the end of the second period, to go up 3 nothing. how does that help you guys momentum while you're going the last 20 minutes? Um, I feel like it's a good, like, kind of take a deep breath, but not that much of a deep breath because it's still such, like, it could turn in a second. So it was a good way to end the second period, and we came out fine in the third, too. Coach, Coach your, your defensive pairs get a goal today, Fess, Barnes, and Clority. What's it mean to get different scoring from the D this time? Yeah, you know, it's great. Um, we're looking for scoring from anywhere we can get it, right? And, uh, I mean, Barnes has jumped up in the play there. You know, that was, a, I thought, a phenomenal goal to start us off. And, and, uh, and then, um, you know, Kerry found, you could see it. It's funny because, like, where you're standing on the bench, you could see it going right in. I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's going to go in. Like, you, you know, it's almost like uh, time froze. And then nice to get a power play goal. I mean, I know uh, they, had a, they had a five minute major there, but uh, I thought we had some good looks. But really nice to just pop one in. And, and uh, our power play has been working so hard. And, and uh, it's nice for them to get a little bit of a re reward there. Penalty. Was that a conversation that the officials generated, or were you just kind of questioning like the two five versus? Yeah, uh, yeah. I just asked. Um, I I asked if what they saw there, um, and then they had a discussion on their own about uh, about if it was contact to the head. And I think as soon as you're questioning it, then then you should probably take a look at it. And I think they they made the right call there uh, from after I, I saw the play. So. I do have to give credit to uh, up top. Cam Wolbach really helped us out in that one because he saw it first. So, another with, Kerry, with Kerry's goal, how much did that maybe give you guys uh, the the breathing room you needed? Because it felt like Harvard had some chances there in the first that they didn't capitalize on in early in the second, and yeah. did that kind of. You guys take a little sigh of relief there when, when that puck goes into the net. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I think we we got a little. Um, 
a little sloppy there in the neutral zone, and they were able to capitalize and have some odd man rushes and, and uh, some opportunities to score. So I, I thought we were able to clean that up kind of after Kerry scored, you know. Um, and, I, and I think that really uh, helped kickstart us a little bit. In, and plus it gives you just a little bit more breathing room like you were talking about. You don't have to hold your sticks quite as tight. And, um, but, but, uh, but overall I was happy with the way we played, especially after that goal where we were able to keep them – Keep them to to obviously not scoring and and uh, you know you knew we were probably gonna get a few penalties there in that third period and and uh, we I thought we fought them off pretty good. The players clearly saw it as a revenge game. As a coach, do you have the same mindset or is there much more kind of a business like approach? I guess. Yeah, I would say not as much as revenge for that one. From from my perspective, um, I mean obviously it's nice to beat them. They're they're uh, I know they're. They're uh, having a, a little bit of a tough season, but they're a good team. They have they have some really good players on that team, and you have to be aware um, of them all the time when they're out there. And and like you said, they've they had some scoring opportunities that I thought Abby did a great job, and our D did a great job of defending against. Um, but I feel like being pod every year, you're going to face one of these three schools, and it's always going to be a tough one, and and it's always going to be a, a good hard fought battle, no matter who you're playing against. And that's the great. Think about the bean pot. Thoughts on just facing Northeastern as well next week? Yeah, you know, we got to face BU first uh, on the weekend, so that's going to be our focus. But uh, obviously Northeastern's uh, playing well. Last time we played them, it was a fantastic game, so I would expect nothing less for that game on Tuesday. Coach, what was it like to have new and old contributors today in terms of scoring goals that, like, you had goals from Kerry and from Sydney that, like, you haven't really seen them before, but then you also have from Kayla. Like, what was it like to have like, all those contributors? Yeah, it's great. It's great. You know, we, um, we've we been struggling on the scoring front. So just to get anybody putting pucks in the net, I thought um, I thought we had some really good looks. Um, and and uh, for those three, I'm, I'm obviously happy for those three to be able to contribute in that way. Um, and, uh, you know, that we're going to be looking for that. When you start to get to playoffs, when you get to these um, big games, you need anyone and everyone scoring. And, and uh, so hopefully, you know, that can kickstart us to, to more goals in the, on the weekend.